All right, everybody, I'm back. How y'all doing today? I'm just giving y'all an update on a recent vehicle purchase, and we're going to be doing some videos on it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we got, which is our first look at it. I've, I've just basically pulled it off the trailer yesterday, parked it in the garage, um, and haven't looked at it at all, very little. So I'm going to turn the camera around, which will be our first look at it. All right, guys, here it is. It's a 1971 Dodge Dart. Um, 318 in it, three-speed automatic. It's pretty much a born fine, sort of. The guy who had it, he had it for a couple of years. He didn't do anything to it. Before that, it was actually in a born for the last 20 years. The previous owner owned it. The guy that I got it from got it running. He did a couple of things, like change the fuel pump, put a battery in it, voltage regulator. Just a couple of things just to get it cranked. And that's about it. So, it's pretty much all original, except, well, the, the VIN number is showing that it's supposed to be a slant 6. But, there's a 318 under the hood, so evidently somebody went ahead and swapped that out at some point. So, I don't know what year model the engine is or anything. I haven't popped the hood. Haven't done anything to it. Basically pulled it off the trailer. Pulled it up here. And this is our first look. And we're going to go through everything. We're going to go with the interior and everything. So. Pretty body's pretty straight. A couple of dents. Uh, that back fender back there. Some rust on the door. Let's get a little closer up. A little bit of rust. It's not rusting through though. All the glass is good. Got some aluminum aluminum rims on it. 14 inch. Just a quick walk around. A little bit of rust here. You can see it's a dent. I got a little dent here. But it's like they primed it, but the rust came back through little rust here they pulled the top off at some point which was a good thing because it would have really been rusted really bad right here but it's not looking pretty good so it's original original paint i'm sure glass is all good go ahead and take a look at the interior real quick the roof it's got spotty rust but it's not very deep so all right a look inside the seat driver's seat needs to be probably recovered again it's a little rough but back seats pretty looks good good shape um, floors as you can see carpets kind of tore up original carpet looks really good though there's no rust here at all and like literally no rust so up in here Gauges work, from what I understand. Only one I seen working was the voltage gauge. Oil pressure gauge was working too. Uh, ignition. Yeah, he changed the ignition switch as well. It's another thing the guy had put in. I don't know anything about the radio. I don't know if any of this stuff works. But I'll go through it and check it out. Um, I've never opened the glove box yet. Let's see. All right here on the floor it looks like it may have a little bit of rust but i checked under the car and i didn't see any rust like through and through actually it may not be that bad right here i mean it's yeah it's not bad at all it's just really dirt almost all right i don't know what's in here so, let's see what we got uh, ugh, i don't think we got anything with this well that's cool evidently this is the first owner delivery date 10 23 1970 awesome the VIN number did say 
this was built in Ontario, Canada, according to the VIN number. So, that's awesome. We're going to keep that. That is really cool. Okay. And it's a hard top, so all these windows roll down here. Floors look pretty good. We won't know until we pull this carpet up. We're going to take the carpet out, though. It's pretty dingy, so. Let's go ahead and get our, our key out real quick. Pop the trunk. That's not it. This is it. All right. Trunk lid, a little bit of rust right here. Said a little bit. It does have some pitting, so it's not through and through though yet. We we'll have to take care of that. Mm, trunk's in really good shape. I mean, it's like pretty much no rust. No rest. Only, let's see, I don't see any rust. It's really good. This is just really dirty, it's not even rust. So, looks really good. Here's all the trim. They pull all the trim off. And one of the wipers, evidently. So, that's cool. I, did, I was wondering where it was. Um, here's all the trim. I probably won't be putting it back on. But, I mean, Try sell it or something like that. Seven and a quarter rear end. I'm pretty sure it has a Sherlock in it. Because whenever the guy was pulling it out the grass to load it on the trailer, both wheels were spinning through the grass. So, like pretty much the same speed. So I'm pretty sure it says a Sherlock. I haven't jacked it up and turned the wheels to see yet. Let's go ahead and... That's the front grill. It's really nice. Okay. Go ahead and pop the hood. Let's see what the hood lash is. Here it is. Oh, sorry, my finger's in the way. <laughs> Alright. 318. As far as I know, it's 318. We'll have to dive into the numbers here. Factory manifolds. This is a new voltage regulator put in. Brake booster. There's that new battery. Factory AC unit. No idea if that works or if it's any good. Probably doesn't work, but it may still be good. It's power steering. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, guys. Wash it really good. Do a little video on it. Show you what it comes out looking like. Thanks. I'll keep you updated.